What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we are talking about how narcissists will steal your identity. Not your driver's license. Well, 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 some of them might steal your driver's license, but your real identity, your personality traits, and all the other good stuff. If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, folks. Yes, narcissists are identity thieves. Identity theft is real. Is a it, identity theft is real, Jim. It's a crime to many Americans this every day. <laughs> Bears, beats, battlestar galactica. Uh, yes, I'm a fan of The Office. If you did not know, but yeah, y'all, narcissistic, toxic people are absolutely identity thieves. They will steal your identity. You, you like so? Have you ever wondered? When you in a relationship with a narcissistic person, right? And they start to act like you. They start to behave like you. They start to like the same type of music, musics, the same type of music that you like. The same type of, uh, like this thing that you, but some of them might start to dress the same. If, it, if it's your narcissistic best friend or cousin or brother, sister, or whatever, they might actually start to dress like you. You know, they steal your identity because we lack our own. Let's be, let's keep it hot. You know, I tell people all the time that, who you see in front of you right now is an accumulation of all the personality traits that I've admired in other people or that I've been jealous of in other people. You know, even down to my music taste. Yeah, my music taste. Like, I used to work third shift at uh, Harris Theater Distribution Center in Greensville, North Carolina. Uh, shout out to my HT fam. Um, but they used to play country music over there. I used to hate country music. But then I started, people around me started liking it. I was like, I got to fit in. So I started liking country music. I started liking rock and roll. You know, I started liking th uh, three, three doors, uh, three doors down, uh, three days grace and other stuff like that. You know, just Luke Bryan, Luke Combs. Like you listen to my playlist right now. It's all like Luke Combs and Luke Bryan. I'm, you know, you got a fast car. Yeah. I'm all, I'm all on it. I'm all on it because that's, I feel like I need to become other people to be liked, to be admired, to be appreciated or whatever. So I've been doing that for a very long time. It's, it, and it's crazy how it works. Like the narcissistic person in your life, especially when you get out of a relationship with them, you be, you're going to be shocked at how much they take from you. What I mean by take from you, you're going to be shocked by how much they start to act like you, behave like you, do certain things like you do. You see, a lot of them are going to start doing this type of stuff. Like they're going to start behaving kind of like you. They're going to use what they learn from you to manipulate other people. Cause like, let's just say I like country music, right? Like I didn't like country music before I got into the relationship with you. So I, but I started liking it because it would help me get closer to you. So now that our relationship is over, guess what happens? I, I the next relationship. Now I have a new interest. Now I have a new personality trait. Now I have a new uh, hobby. I have something that I didn't like before that I might not like right now. But I can use it. It's like it's like putting it in my little toxic knapsack, my little toxic book bag. Oh, country music, uh, rap, uh, Parcheesi, uh, <laughs> tennis. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm stuffing things everywhere because it helps me be me. It helps me be more of me. You know, I, and I love it. And this is part of who I've become. Like they will absolutely steal who you are to improve their selves. And I know what people want to say. Well, Lee, that sounds like most people do it. That sounds like things that everybody does. It's the intent. You know, intent matters. Intent matters. The intent to manipulate somebody in a negative way. The intent to take advantage of somebody. The pretend, the intent to pretend. You know, it's okay if you're around somebody and then you start picking up their, if you're around somebody for a long time, you start to act like them. You know, that's okay because y'all still going to be friends. Y'all still cool. It's like y'all bouncing things off of each other. Y'all sharing clothes. You're doing whatever. Like if it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, husband, wife, or whoever it is in these situations, y'all are growing together. It's not a toxic relationship. Now, if they're telling you, if they're taking your personality characteristics and using them to manipulate you, to get, to, to give you, to kind of lull you into this false sense of security, that's what the point is right there. 
I know I thought I need to clarify that because some people will hear me say that about the taking personality characteristics and you will automatically put you put you know, y'all little empathetic people, you little too much empathy. You'll be like, well, Lee, I can put myself in the, I can put my, my, I can, I can wear the shoes of other people and feel like them and act like them. So does that make me a narcissist? No, because you have the ability to put yourself, put yourself in other people's shoes, right? It doesn't make you a narcissist. Narcissists can't do that. We like, we try out, we can, we can put the shoes on, but they don't fit. They don't match us. They don't feel right. So we, it's, it's like a false, it's like we literally able to create a different mask. We use you to create a different mask. Not only for you, but for possible, for possibly for people in the future as well. You know, so this happens quite a bit. That's why I just tell people, if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person or whoever, this is part of the dynamic that you might face in these situations. You might face the situation where you have to, where you encounter a toxic narcissistic person that really absolutely steals your personality characteristics, that steals your personality traits. They really do. So that's why I just tell people, but a lot of the people in these situations that like, there's no, and they, yeah, being realistic, there's really nothing you can do about it. They're going to take your personality traits anyway. You can't really, if they're, especially if they're in a new relationship, what you going to do, reach out to the new supplier and just say, hey, look, they really don't like Parcheesi. They're just doing it to manipulate you with. They hate Parcheesi. They're a chess person. They're, they, they like to play Mancala. You know, they, <laughs> they don't, they don't play that game. You know, I put them on that. They're pretending and this will make you look crazy. Like they, they already told the new supply that you're crazy. And now you're reaching out talking about Parcheesi and Mancala. They're going to say you just, th- you, you kind of steering into the skid. You know, you're hitting the, you're hitting the guardrail right there and whatnot. So that's what I tell people. Just kind of be careful of these situations. <laughs> I say Mancala. Y'all know, y'all know Mancala is. It's a little game. I think it's the game where, uh, back in the day, it's a like a little marble game where you like, it's, it's got like little holes in the, holes in the board and you take the little marbles and you, it's, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you're like, I don't know if that ages me. It show y'all my age or whatever, because yo, know, this is thirty. This is thirty-eight. This this is thirty-eight. Um, but that's where it goes right there. So I'm just trying to tell people on a consistent basis that like you have to protect yourself. You have to protect your peace. You have to protect. You have, you have to guard yourself right now in these situations. Just in like, if people monitor people, y'all observe the people that are in your life. If they tell you like, if you, especially if you're getting the back out here into the dating world. If somebody tells you that they don't like something and then all of a sudden they're, you tell them that you do and they start liking it and you feel like it's manipulative. Yeah, watch out. That's um, that's that's what might be. It could be a little it's, it's little a little red flaggy right there. A little red flaggy, not big red, not a big, not big red, little red flaggy right there in that situation. So as I tell people, like you have to be careful, not be careful what you wish for, but be careful how you operate. Be careful in these situations, right? Because this is what happens. So I want y'all like, just study people. Y'all ask deep, oh, that's what I tell you. Ask deep, penetrating questions. Get to know someone for who they really are. Not who they pretend to be, not who they become with you, but who they really are at their core. Don't just ask, Red, what's your favorite color? Mm. What's your favorite? Um, no, no, let me let me interview your exes. If we can be serious, if I were to interview your exes, what would they say about you? You know, if I were to interview your exes, what would they say about you? Ask, ask a deep question. You know, what's your favorite band? What's your favorite music? What's your you know, get deep, get deeper? What's your dis? What don't you like? You and y'all, y'all you and in these situations right here, you want to be the one who asks these questions first. Because it gives, it doesn't give them the opportunity to manipulate you later on. You see, if you are asking the question first, like if you ask the question first, right? And then later on, like if you, if you ask the question first, it doesn't give them the ability to ask you. Like, cause if you ask first, they have to give you an answer or they'll ask, look, what about you? And then they'll answer. If they ask you and then you answer, then they can say, oh, me too. You see what I'm saying? It gives you the opportunity to learn about them first. Sometimes you have to take the initiative, y'all. You have to take the initiative in, you know, getting these, getting into these people's minds, getting into their heads and whatnot, because it, help, it, it overall, it can absolutely help you survive in a lot of these situations that you might not think you can survive in. So I just tell you, just like ask deep, penetrating questions, because they will absolutely steal your identity. They'll, 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 they'll wear you like a damn skin suit. You see, you see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with leather face when he took people's faces off and started wearing them. That's what they do. That's, that's what they do with your your personality traits. Narcissists, <laughs> narcissists are leather face. You know, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they'll wear you like a suit. 
And they look, it, it's a snug fit. A tailor, a, ta- a tailored suit. They wear you like a tailored suit. It's a tailored version of you that they put on and that they wear and whatnot. So you want to be able to protect yourself in this situation. So ask the questions first. Well, Lee, I'm kind of passive. Well, monitor their answers. Y'all, stu- look, study body language. This is how you can defeat narcissists. Study body language. Read body language books. Watch videos on body language and micro expressions. Because you know, they can lie, they can lie out of their mouths. But their body, I'm just telling you, their body might not lie. A little subtle movement, or uh, eye twitch. You know, that's how you tell somebody, somebody's lying or somebody really likes something sometimes. Like, they might just say, oh, I love that. And the eye be twitching. You're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that with your, what's that, what's that with your left eye? What do you, what do you, what do you, nothing going on with my left eye. What do you mean? Now it's your right eye. Ugh, let me put my, I know I should have worn my shades. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to finish the date like this. Don't worry about my eyes. Look at my heart. Don't look at my eyes. Look at my heart, please. Don't judge me by my eyes. Look at my heart. You can see the, you can still kind of see the eyebrow twitching through the damn, <laughs> through the bandana. But this is what I'm just telling you. Ask deep, penetrating questions. So you want to be the first to ask. So you don't want to, like, yeah, I just don't want y'all to get manipulated by a person that's not being authentic with you because that sucks. It absolutely sucks. And you don't deserve that. But you have to take initiative. You have to kind of have a little bit of bravery and stand up for yourself in the beginning of relationships or while you're actually in a relationship to monitor them. Like if they tell you that they like something and they get you because narcissists are evolving too, y'all. So if they tell you that they like something and you start to get into a relationship with them and you notice that they don't really like that, just y'all take take notes. You can take notes, right? I have a diary, you know, have a diary. Get my uh, my self love. My, my self love journal is available on Amazon. Check out my self love journal. It's right here. Check the self love journal. You can write in this and it helps you rebuild that self love It's available on Amazon. Write in that stuff, right in that type of stuff right there, y'all. Help yourself. Help yourself survive. Help yourself thrive. Because at the end of the day, you have to live the life that you want to live. I promise you they're gonna live hey, they're gonna live their life. They're gonna live their life. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. And as always, y'all, as always, mental health is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos in my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.